Good morning, traders. I hope everyone uh, had a nice weekend. The Asia Open is upon us. We've got a, kind of a quiet start to the uh, to the session, which is expected as most are watching the U.S. Open and uh, World Cup and plenty of other reasons to not be in front of the screens. Just a quick recap of what happened last week. We had a lot of event risk. Uh, the, <clears throat> the Fed on Wednesday raised 25 basis points, which was expected. You know, fairly fairly upbeat sounding. And then um, the ECB was on Thursday. That one, the market was caught way off guard. Um, they did announce gradually ending QE at the end of 2018, but and then they, they did cut their growth forecasts. But the big deal was their warning that they would not be hiking rates um, until after the first half of 2019, and uh, this scared a lot of the longs. And uh, you know, it was it was very dovish sounding forward guidance, um, and the euro responded <coughs> accordingly. You can see here. Here's the weekly bar, massive outside reversal week. So the initial reaction actually on the ECB day was a, a small rally, and then it reversed very hard. Um, so bearish engulfing week. It looks to me, just looking at these fibs, I don't see why we can't take out this low here, 115.18. Uh, what is it? No, 115.10. And get down into these 100-week and 200-week moving average, which uh, also um, align with... Uh, this 114.50.60 area, which is the half fib of this big swing, the, the you know a year and a half swing. So um, that's the euro chart. Here's the daily on Thursday. That's what that looked like. So targeting first 115.10 and then down the one mid 114s. Uh, you know the dollar in general it had a strong week. Here's the Aussie dollar that really took a, a beating. Um, Here's the weekly. Uh, you know, we had, did have a lower high this week, last week, and then, you know, we closed down. And, this, you know, some of the lowest weekly closes we've seen in a while. So we're focusing our attention on this low here. Uh, let's get the pointer tool out. Right here. This low. 74.12. We're short some Aussie. Uh, we're also short a little bit of Aussie yen. Um, Trump also announced the tariffs on the Chinese techno technology products last at the end of last week, and uh, so you know the trade wars are not great for risk. Um, you know we we do like being short some cross yen. Here's Aussie yen, the weekly in Aussie yen. Let's go right down the line here. There's CAD yen, really ugly looking weekly bar, Euro yen, kind of an unchanged type week for Euro yen. There's Sterling yen, up a little bit, nothing major. Um, Kiwi yen, Doji type week. So you know the yen crosses. I think I, th I think they're spooked by the uh, by the, uh, the trade tariff news. Um, there's a British pound. So again, the dollar, if we look at the dollar index, you can see it had a very powerful week. Here's a weekly. We're bumping up here against the 200-week uh, moving average. We didn't close above it. And then the 100-week is just above. Um, but this whole 95 area, like kind of right between 95.02 and 95.62, that's, that's a big area up here. And we have these old highs that we touch. So we've actually got kind of a triple, looks like a triple top on the weeklies. Um, hold on, what did I just do here? Um, let me draw this. Well, you, you know what I'm saying. I, for some reason, I can't draw this line. Um, so right here, this this 95 kind of 02 to 15 looks like the the big area. So we'll be watching that early in the week. Um, 
we have uh, <clears throat> what do we have coming up here? Yeah, we, we do like playing the dollar from the long side. Um, you know, we're thinking that uh, we can see some more more upside um, again with this dollar index. So uh, quiet on the data front here for the first session of the week and, uh, you know, kind of expecting it to be, we, we, you know, the World Cup, this is the vol, volatility depressing period for the next month with the World Cup. So uh, you got to be super nimble, but you never know. Uh, we have had... Uh, have had some moves before in this uh, during the World Cup period, so we'll be watching out, paying close attention. I'll be traveling for a week or so. Um, my colleagues will be on. You will not be hearing from me, um, though, for about a week, um, starting Wednesday. So, good luck trading today, and you'll uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.